Hi guys! So, um, last week, or this past week I should say, on Thursday, after my eye doctor appointment, I went down to the Eaton Center, to the Indigo Bookstore American Girl Boutique. Um, I mainly went to get the doll stand for Gabriella, but while I was there I ended up doing a little bit of extra shopping on some items that I wanted. So I'm going to show them to you right now. Um, but the first item I'm actually going to show you I didn't get at the store. I actually purchased from someone on Instagram that I follow um, that has an American Girl doll uh, Instagram account. And she was selling some of her American Girl outfits. And so I bought this outfit. I forget what the name of it is. It is an official American Girl outfit, but it's one that they retired. And I missed out on getting it at the time that it was out. And I've always wanted this outfit. So when I saw it on her Instagram and it was at such an awesome price, it was only like $19, which... If you know American Girl Clothing, that is a great price. Um, so I could not pass it up. So what it is, is these blue corduroy pants. And then to go with them, it's a little uh, purple sweater. And it kind of has that look of where the bottom is kind of longer and then it has almost like a waistband on it and it has three little buttons down the top and it actually has a hood attached to it and then the sleeves have blue polka dots on it so i thought this would be a really cute fall slash winter outfit and winter is on it i mean fall is literally upon us um it has definitely been cooler here the last few days and I even had to, when I went out on Thursday, I actually had to wear a jacket. <laughs> I had to wear a hoodie. It was chilly. Um, and I actually have been pretty cold here today, although today is warmer outside, but I think because it's been so cold the last few days, it's feeling cooler in the apartment. So I actually was cold earlier today. <laughs> um... And then it comes with these little purple ballet flat type shoes. And lastly, it comes with a pink knitted kind of beanie cap and it has two little buttons on the side. So I just thought that was a really cute outfit. I had always wanted it and then they retired it and I missed out on getting it. So when I saw it, I couldn't pass it up. Um, the next thing that I got at Indigo, I actually grabbed at the checkout because they have, oh my gosh, when it when it's a big lineup, you get sucked in, I'm telling you, because Indigo puts all these cool products in the checkout line <laughs> and you're just like waiting in line and you're looking at things. So anyways, I saw this at the checkout and it was only $1.95 and I thought it would be something really cute to send to my sponsor child, Yorgelies. Um, it's scratch art. It's a scratch art pad. So it's uh, black paper and then you can you can use this wooden pointed wooden kind of pencil thing to just scratch out whatever design you want and behind the black paper is like multicolored rainbow colored stuff. This is by Melissa and Doug. I love Melissa and Doug products and I just thought you know what for two bucks and it's so nice and flat, so it'll fit really nicely in an envelope for yours, Liz. So, and since she's getting older, I think, you know, she would really like something like this. So, that was that. So, now let's get into the AG stuff. So, I saw this new t-shirt that they had out. It's a gray t-shirt, and it has, like, purple tulle around the collar the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt and it's short sleeve and it has a little white dog on it 
which when I showed Paul this, she freaked out because she said it looks just like her dog, Ollie, which is so true. Um, it really does. And it has a little tiny tutu around its waist. And then it says AG in purple with the pink star in between the A and the G. So it's just, it just says graphic fashion tee for dolls. And so I just thought it would be cute to mix and match because I think I have a purple skirt that would look cute with it. But I think it would also look nice with jeans. So it's kind of multi-purpose. Then I got the Dream Pajamas because I have been wanting those for some time. So if you can see the print on the box, it's a little pajama top pajama capris I believe they're called capris little slippers but I'm gonna open up and show you the actual outfit um, yes it is capri pants it says on the back so they always have this they have this little um, paper I think oh maybe not not with this one it just it's just the box that opens and I just I always love opening American Girl boxes like this I don't know it's like I don't know what it is it's just so fun because they seem so like fancy and boutique like <laughs> I just love it um but there's the tissue paper the signature tissue paper open it up so it is um purple pajamas which you know me in purple so it's like a sleeveless top but it has little ruffles at the edge of the sleeve and it's purple and then it has a cloud with some flowers and then it has this beautiful hot air balloon and it even has some glitter in there and it just says American Girl and then of course in the they always have these little um, sewn on emblems of American Girl in the corner I think most of their stuff has the sewn on emblem I believe Sometimes it's embroidered. Sometimes it's a metal one. This one is a plastic one. And then the pants that are the capris, they are purple. And then they have the same kind of hot air balloons all over it with clouds and flowers. And the slippers are pink. Um, actually, they're kind of like a pinky purple color. And almost like a dusty rose, I guess you would say. And they're really fluffy. And then they have um, these beautiful blue flowers embroidered on them that match the flowers that are on the shirt and the pants. And then it also comes with a pink hairband. So I thought that I really just thought these pajamas were so cute when I saw them. I feel like my American Girl dolls have more pajamas than they have outfits. And I feel like the same is true with my Reborns. They have more pajamas <laughs> than, well, I don't know, actually. I, I think they have a pretty good balance. But I think it's just me because you guys know how much I love to wear pajamas myself. That I think I just I gravitate towards the same for my dolls it's kind of funny um, so anyways so that is that and then this is the box with the doll stand in it so I just have to put that together and get Gabby on that and then I decided to go to the Welly Wisher section which here in Canada the Welly Wishers are not in the American Girl Boutique um, I know in the U.S. the Welly Wishers are in the American Girl stores. They are also in Toys R Us. Um, and I don't know if there's any other stores that have Welly Wishers in the U.S. But here in Canada, you know, we don't have American Girl stores. We just have select Indigo bookstores have American Girl boutiques. Here in Toronto, there's only two. There's Yorkdale and there's Eaton Centre. And any other Indigo bookstore doesn't have American Girl stuff, but they do have Welly Wishers if it's an Indigo with a toy section. So any Indigo bookstore or Chapters bookstore in Canada that has a toy section, 
the Welly Wisher dolls and the Welly Wisher clothes and accessories and all that are part of the toy section of those bookstores. Um, so I went to check it out and see what they had and lo and behold they had the new outfits that came out this um, in the last couple of months. They released some new Welly Wisher outfits. So this one is the outdoors in overalls outfit which I think is so stinking cute. Um, basically it is an oh it's I call them short alls because they're not long pants they are shorts so they look like denim um, and then they have these little light blue I don't know if they're like polka dots or if they're supposed to be like little butterflies all over it but then the top part of the overalls has an embroidered flower and an owl and it has pink buttons on for the straps and on the sides. And then the bottom part of the short alls has embroidered um, flowers and leaves. And then the top that goes underneath it is yellow. And it has flowers, leaves, trees. And then it comes with a, um, what do you call that? A kerchief? uh is it a kerchief yes it is a kerchief for the head and it it's the same pattern as the shirt and then it comes with these cute little purple shoes that have a pink flower on it and so at the back of the box it actually shows an example of one of the welly wishers wearing the outfit so you can kind of get an idea of what it will look like and it is just so stinking cute i could not pass that up and then the other new outfit that I got from Wally Wishers is this beautiful dress. I think it is so adorable. It is a almost like a yellow slash orange color, like a, a yellowy orangey color. And it has little straps, like spaghetti straps. And then it has um, pink, bright pink tulle. And then layered on top of it is like a green felt, almost like, it reminds me of, um, I don't know, like elf or fairy kind of pattern. It's zigzag. And then you have embroidered pink flowers all over the skirt and around the um, waistline. And then there's a little tulle flower. And then it comes with green shoes that I believe are also felt. And they're embroidered all the way around with the flowers as well. And then it has this adorable acorn headband. It, and if you can see like the back here, it actually shows Willa wearing it, which is the Welly Wisher doll that I have. And like, how cute is that? And like this little acorn hairband. Oh my gosh, guys, like, oh, it is so cute. So that is what I got from my American Girl haul. Um, so I'm really excited to try on these Welly Wisher outfits and finally get Gabby put on a doll stand because she, like, I don't know how many times I've knocked her over now. <laughs> Like when I'm trying to move dolls around on the shelf and stuff, I've I've literally knocked her over, I don't know how many times, but it's been crazy. So I'm just really happy to finally have been able to get her doll stand. Um, I have to make sure that the next time I get an American Girl doll to remember to get the doll stand. I usually do. I don't know what happened. I think... I think it was that I wasn't feeling well that day. Um, I had felt okay after my lupus clinic appointment and that's why I went there to get Gabby. And then once I was there, I was there longer than I anticipated because like I had said, I kept going back and forth between Gabby and the newer African American doll that came out and I forget what number she is but I kept going back and forth back and forth between the two and then when I finally decided on Gabby the pickiness of me I literally went through every single Gabby doll that was on the shelf 
um, before I settled on which one I was actually going to take off the shelf. And so by the time I finally chose the one that I wanted, I was so exhausted and I was hot. It was so hot in the store and I was feeling really like yucky. So I think that's why I was just like, I'm just getting the doll. I'm just getting her ears pierced. And I didn't even think about the doll stand until I got home. So, um, but it's okay. At least it's, easy to get to the store via subway so I thankfully felt up to it this past week and just went down and did that and then I believe I heard I learned today that Nenea is supposed to be released in Canada September the 9th so I am looking forward to I think probably the next time I go to the lupus clinic she should be out by then so I can go and have a look at her in person. And I don't think I will buy her when I go to see her in person. I just want to see her in person to make sure that I still really want her in my collection. And then I think she will probably go on my Christmas list for Christmas because I don't know. She just looks so pretty from the pictures I've seen online. So I'm sure I'm going to love her in person. But it's always nice to be able to see them in person first before you make a final decision. Um, before they had the boutiques in Canada, uh, I pretty much just had to go with whatever I saw online and I would order from the American Girl website in the U.S. and then you would have to like, you'd be paying in U.S. dollars so then it would convert to Canadian and you'd have to pay for shipping and then you'd have to pay custom duties and it just turned into like such a huge expense. So I'm so thankful that they finally brought some boutiques to Canada because um yes the items are a little bit more expensive here obviously because they're in Canadian dollar but it's still I think honestly it still works out to be a lot cheaper than it would be if I was ordering from the American Girl website hello Riley say hi to everybody <laughs> So anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul and we will see you in the next video. <laughs> bye guys. Say bye, Riley. Hey, Riley, say bye. <laughs> bye guys.